I'm very interested in color as an expression of light. Working very intensely with an individual color, I found that I began to uh, resonate with the color. And then a very interesting thing happened. Perceptions started shifting. There was a blurring of subject and object. I began to lose my sense of self. Who is the seer? Who is the scene? You know, there was a blurring of all these boundaries, which I found very interesting. It was very meditative, but it was wonderfully liberating as well. In a way, we are what we perceive, and what we perceive becomes a part of us. Painting for me became a portal, sort of a passageway into another dimension. There's a certain ritualized aspect to the way I work. I have been writing, chanting, and meditating on the Heart Sutra for many years now. And the basic tenet of which is form is emptiness, emptiness is form, and that nothing is static, everything is constantly changing, and that existence is a process. While chanting the Heart Sutra inwardly, I mix sand with adhesive and with other substances such as my own hair, sometimes burnt, sometimes not, and uh, incense ash, and I write the Heart Sutra onto the canvas, overlapping over and over again. But as I write, I simultaneously destroy the Heart Sutra. What you end up with is sort of almost the ruins of the sutra, leaving a sort of a net of barely unrecognizable forms, sort of a record of the interactive process between form and formlessness and the transient nature of matter. When these layers of broken forms have dried, then I applied color. As I was working on this series, I started with various other media like watercolor and things, and I decided to use the colors of the chakras in the Indian yogic system. The healing aspect of light, of color, is something that interested me a lot. Making work is my life, and it's very much become over the years an extension of my Buddhist practice. So in a way, it's a long practice. In more traditional Buddhist practices, such as meditation, you always use the body. And the body is an agent, if you like, and a portal to experience beyond what we obviously see and hear. I had an idea that I wanted to extend the experience. So in front of each painting on the ground, I wanted to have a pool of light reflecting the color of the painting. And the idea was that it's sort of like a magic fairy ring, um, which you step into and then become a part of the painting. That aspect, I think, is quite important for me which leads directly into the installation, which is titled At the Still Point. The inspiration came from the healing chambers of the ancients, where they used things like light to heal, uh, color to heal and to transform energies. And so I thought I would try and uh, make something like that with sound. The idea is for a person to walk into that chamber and just having a primary experience. It's a very slow experience. You have to walk in and be willing to take your time to calm down, go inside when all around you is turning and, and then hopefully experience something.